Hey, what's up? I'm Coach Brian, and I wanted to make a video to teach you about using resistance bands for an at-home workout or maybe even a workout that you're doing on vacation, hotel room, or something like that. These are, these are amazing, and I actually did a lot of work with these when I first started training. So uh, these bands have handles in particular. There's different resistance sizes of these bands, so they're very versatile, easy to put in suitcase, easy to stuff in a duffel bag, whatever. Um, make sure that your bands are in good shape if they're not cut up because they will snap on you eventually if they're damaged. Let's do a couple of lower body exercise, uh, exercises with these today. So you're going to do a squat first. I'm going to train you on how to use this band for a squat. We'll normally start with our feet about hip width. Toes are facing forward and even weight in both feet, standing nice and tall, abs braced. I like to bring my hands up to my shoulders to do this work because it provides the most tension in the band for me. Now, some folks might not be able to curl the band to the shoulders, especially with a heavy band for leg weight, so you could have the band at your sides on this one as well. So I'm gonna start here, lower my body back toward the floor, and then press back away from my heels, and then do it again, lowering toward the floor, knees stay over ankles, and press back up into a stand. So you repeat that exercise over and over again for some squats. Now. There's tension in this band on the way down. So you're sinking and then pressing against the tension. You're fighting the tension on the way down and on the way up. So as you keep climbing, you're going to need more resistance as your muscles uh, respond and adapt. So widening out your feet when you use a resistance band can add more tension to this. There's more tension in the band now. Now it's a little more difficult. If it's too difficult, the adjustment is narrow up your feet a little. You can also make it super easy, or -er, super easy, or -er, it's never going to be easy, by putting one foot only on the band. Now there's even less tension on it as you do the squat. So this is to keep your muscles adapting past just body weight exercise. Eventually your body's going to get used to that. It will stop. It will plateau from growing and getting stronger. Uh, the second exercise I'll show you is a lunge. With a lunge, you're going to put your front foot on the band so whenever you put your foot on bands it's the center of the foot not your toe or heel you want to make sure that that band is under there securely your hands go back to your shoulders possibly here again feet are about shoulder width you'll step the foot backwards that does not have the band on it under it into a lunge so your knee is over your ankle as you sunk down into the lunge and then you'll press back up through your right foot or left foot whichever foot has the band under it Inner thighs should be turned on so you keep your balance and core is strong through the whole entire movement, especially the movement to the floor. So then you'd switch to the other side. So as I'm training you in a, let's say, a live uh, or recorded climb training situation, or you're taking a class with me live or we're doing training, these bands are super, super helpful, especially if you don't have a lot of equipment at home. These are worth it. So. You can get these at any fitness store, sporting goods store, or online at Amazon or whatever. Uh, they're not very expensive either. So good thing to have hanging around. Hope you're all having a great day. If you have any questions about how to use the bands for lower body exercise, you can comment below the video or find me on Facebook at Brian Tass Fitness or on Instagram at Coach Brian Tass. Have a great day.